welcome back to your girl mother freaking mother freaking channel you already know yeah but today we are doing a cooking video i'll be making my famous chicken quesadillas yes my famous chicken quesadillas they love them everybody loves them they will eat this every single night literally they buy the ingredients and they want to cook this every single night i'm gonna show you guys what i will be using to make the chicken quesadillas first but a disclaimer you guys i am literally out of town right now and i just bought some of these seasons from the house because i didn't want to buy none down here and then leave them down here when i already got these things at home so i brought some of these seasons these not all of them so i'm gonna take all of them and plus we didn't get like everything you're supposed to get in quesadillas this is not all the ingredients you need way more maybe i will redo this video these are the seasons i will be using make this do what it do with these seasons that's just that's what we're working with so we gonna improvise and do it with that tortillas the soft taco thing you want the large ones like i like the large ones all you need is one these are this is the medium one you can also use small ones too so you can use any size of tortillas you got what chicken breast this is what we'll be using it's any type of chicken breast it doesn't matter which brand or whatnot just make sure some chicken breast some cut up and you know do all that so We're gonna wash this chicken. I should have been did that actually. All y'all folks are gonna be seeing washing chicken. The motherfucking is so you know y'all want to cook them too. You know y'all want me to tell y'all to go downstairs and wash that chicken off. <laughs> Like, come on now. Yeah, I know y'all don't watch my mother chicken. Chicken in the background. After I rinse the chicken, you always wash your hands. Alright, now. I like to make sure my chicken is dry before I season it. I just feel like the seasons stay on way better when you damp the chicken. I'm gonna just season the chicken. Flip it to season the back of the chicken. Chicken is seasoned with all the seasons I only have. Now I have, I have this pan and we're going to cook this. I'm going to set the chicken right here. I'm ready to cook. I like to clean as I go. I'm going to place the chicken in a skillet. Um, this is a small one so all the meat is not going to fit in there. So while that chicken is cooking, usually I'll be cutting up bell peppers, onion, cooking corn. I cook everything inside of this chicken. Just anything that you can cook, anything that you want in your quesadillas, you could be preparing, cutting it up, and cooking it in a whole nother pot. Or I got another tomato. So this we just got chicken and we got chicken and cheese for the night. We don't want to, you know, we're about to, but we don't need it because we eat now. Okay, y'all. So, I'm going to turn the thing up a little bit because it's cooking too slow. It's cooking very slow, but y'all, next thing when you cook it, do not have your stove cut all the way up on the high school. Cook too fast. You're going to burn the stuff, so you're going to burn the seasoning without even cooking. You know, and stuff. so just make sure you take your time with your Put 
leave no one else. You're all I need. Personality. Everything you do. It's me to love. Everything about you. So the shirt is done. I'm gonna move this to a different aisle. The chicken is done now. We're gonna put the chicken in the bowl. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and cook all the chicken and then I'm gonna put it. No, I almost forgot y'all. You know, so I went ahead of myself. So I already cooked the other chicken that was left over. So I just put, I cleaned the pan now. I put butter in the skillet and then. I grabbed a um, tortilla, a taco shell, whatever you want to call it, taco shell, whatever. I put it in the pot. Quick, so we're gonna put this on very, very low, super low. We're gonna open our cheese. Put these nails on. I feel chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be blessed. Okay. Are we gonna put cheese on half of it? And just half. Once you put it on half of it like that, we're gonna let that cook. Then you got the chicken. Usually I have green pepper, corn, onions, anything you can think of, anything you want in your quesadilla, you can put that um, and then mix it all together, okay? So I'm gonna put the chicken on top of the cheese. So now, we get the other half of the tortilla. After you put everything on it, you want to fold it. Okay, fold it. And if you like extra cheese, but we don't have only one bag of cheese, so I'm not gonna put extra cheese on nobody. How we finna cook it into a crisp, a nice, you know, toasted taco thing. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook. And then that will be that. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so you will be needing a spatula or any type of thing. You would like to put it in the middle of the pan. So it can be hot, no cotton. You don't want to keep it on the edge. You want to keep it folded. And it should just already just cook and still fold, and it's just going to stay by. Turn me inside out, out, make my heart beat. Leave no one else. You're all I need. Personality, everything you do. It's me to love. Everything about you. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll it in This one is good. This is probably not useful right here. It's good. It's delicious. Delicious. 